Welcome to this tutorial on Bruno Mars's Count on Me. We're going to begin by playing the melody of the piece alone. After that, we'll add the chords and talk about the figuration we can use to make those chords sound even more exciting. After that, we'll put it all together, right and left hands, and we'll talk about some performance tips to help make this performance sound even better. So let's begin by playing through the melody of this song. Here we go.
Okay, so let's take a look at the chords in the song Count On Me. Fortunately, they're pretty simple. The first chord that we need in this song is a C major chord. You probably know that one already, a C, E, and a G. We have an E minor chord, E, G, and B. We have an A minor chord, A, C, and E. We have a G major chord, G, B, and D. We have an F major chord. And a little later on, we have a D minor chord. As you perhaps noticed, all of these chords are on white keys. C major, E minor, A minor, G major, F major, and D minor can all be played on the white keys, so I don't need to use any black keys anywhere in this accompaniment in this piece. That makes it quite easy to find these different chords. Now, in order to make this sound a little bit interesting, a little bit more interesting, and to mimic the sort of sound that Bruno Mars has on his recording, uh, I simply break every chord up into the bottom note and the, then the top two notes after it and repeat that one time in every measure. So I have one, two, three, four. That gives me four beats per measure. One, two, three, four. So that is basically the accompaniment that he uses in the song as well. And so on. I'm simply breaking all those chords up like this. Uh, the exact same thing that Bruno Mars does and it's pretty effective in this song. So let's put this together, melody and accompaniment at the same time. Here we go.
Okay, so let's talk about some of the things you can do to make this even more musical as you play it. One of the things that people oftentimes have a hard time with is coordinating the syncopations in the right hand with the quarter notes in the left hand. If, that, if you find that difficult, for example, these spots like... One of the things you can do is just tap the rhythm in each hand like this. Remember that the left hand stays stable all the way throughout. It's like a metronome. It never changes. We just have the quarter notes going along. So the right hand has to fit in between those quarter notes. Tapping the rhythm will allow you to concentrate entirely on that coordination without having the added difficulty of having to play the notes as well. And once you get the tapping down, then you can move to trying to do the same thing on the piano keyboard. I would recommend in this accompaniment emphasizing the left hand notes every time the chord changes. So when you play at the beginning, I'm exaggerating of course, but a little bit of that helps us to really feel the change from one chord to the next. Another thing you can practice is if you want, embellish the right hand a little bit, something like That takes a little bit of practice, but the only way to get good at imp improvisation is to practice, 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 and keep experimenting. A little tip for you, because just like the chords of this piece primarily used, in, in fact entirely used, the white keys, your improvisation, if you stay on the white keys of the piano, will generally sound pretty good. You don't have to worry about going into the black keys, just give it a try. Those are the most important things to think about with this song, uh, Count On Me. If you have any questions, just let me know. I hope you enjoy playing it. I'll see you in the next piece.